hello everyone uh, this is going to be a short video on how to use the recently added uh, extract watch feature on gocharting.com and uh, uh, we will see how you can use this feature to better your trading decisions and executions uh, while trading in options so let's move on to the uh, options desk platform uh, now this is the basic layout that you see as soon as you open options desk uh, how do we open this i have already explained in the previous videos you can go there and watch it so uh, the latest update on options desk will give you this page with all these uh, features that i'm moving the cursor uh, that is wherever i'm moving the cursor some of them are already in place some of them are going to be added so you get to see what's in store so uh, firstly uh, what you see over here is the options chain when i select this and uh, the three dots that you see here obviously we've explained that are the three trades or the paper trades that i have on that is why it's like that now uh, let's start by uh, creating a strategy that is the best way to actually explain whatever we have here so firstly uh, let's take this payoff chart and as you know the UI is really really flexible on this and create another window so that we can keep seeing what we are doing okay now uh, let's create one a really simple strategy that is an iron condo that many are familiar with we could, we're not going to do anything really fancy in this we're just going to short the at the money call and the put strikes and uh, hedge it with uh, I mean out of the money put and call options so uh, to start with let's first short the put option we're going to select the base as 36,700 and let's sell let's say 10 lots okay and add it okay so you, you what it does is what this layout does is you keep seeing the uh, payoff diagram as you keep adding and you can keep adjusting how you like now let's add the call option for the same strike okay and add it okay now uh, there you have the payoff chart for the basic this is a purely uh, straddle that many people call it so over here what what you can do is if you want, want to add hedges is you see these one standard deviation lines you can add a hedge from uh, the from the end or the from the threshold of the first standard deviation if you want if you go if you want to be safe if you want to be a little extravagant and you know how to manage your risk you can go to two standard deviation and so on or 1.5 whatever you wish so let's go and add the hedge for one standard deviation so on the call side or rather the put side we see it's somewhere close to 36,000. so what do we do we go here and add a put buy for 10 lots okay and you see and similarly the first standard deviation for the call is at about 36,300 so let's not extend it that much 300 let's make it 37,300 sorry this is the put option 37,300 and buy okay so this is the payoff diagram that we're getting so uh, as you see uh, there will be some loss after about 36 to 60 uh, and uh, you can keep adjusting as you go and whatever this is just for uh, letting you know how you can go about it and another way you can just do is add the price chart here okay and there you go so you get a better view of uh, where the supports and resistances are on the chart okay now we'll go into this price chart a little later let's go into the strategy uh, builder over here okay the first thing i'm going to do is change the name so that i can keep experimenting keep adding and keep executing as and when i want so i'll name this iron condor okay and this is for the 18th of september okay and i click apply okay now i'm going to do two things here okay the first thing is i'm going to go here this small i button you see i'm going to first save it now what this does is it saves this strategy into the saved templates 
So you see Iron Condor 18th September, it's saved here. The other thing I would like to do here is to make things simpler for me in future is I'll go ahead and save this, rather copy this this time, go to custom strategy, okay, and just paste this and I'll name this strategy Iron Condor Short and if you noticed we had a uh, 600 700 point put side uh, I mean uh, breadth on the uh, on this the strategy and a six point 600 points on the call side uh, from the, away from the ATM so I'm going to name it 700 600 so so that I remember that from the ATM at the money strike I'm uh, the hedges are 700 points away on the put side and 600 points away on the call side and I'm going to go ahead and save this okay now what this does again is do you see this I have added this now what how is this helpful the next time I want to do trade this or uh, watch it in the strat watch I'll just show you what that is I'm I don't have to go anywhere looking uh, and creating a strategy for every upon every expiry okay so what we did was it it's a standard for any expiry i don't have to go ahead and create a new strategy for every expiry where i want the hedge to be 700 points away or 600 points away from the call side so this is one way of just saving a template and adding it later on or using it later on whenever you wish like okay so i'll just show you what i mean a little later okay so now i have done it on the strategy part in the strategy builder now we just expand this and this is our strategy okay so now what if i uh, have not traded this and i want to trade it so the next step what i do is i go on the strat watch i can watch it right there also i like it here so i'm going to shift it here okay and i'm going to add a strategy okay save templates and i'm going to add this okay from here okay so you see this this is another old one we we'll just go ahead and delete this so you see this minus one one lakh six three seven five so this is this is nothing but the premium i get paid okay so i know what is the premium i'm going to get for this strategy so for example i enter tomorrow morning and i see this uh, of course there's going to be a dk but for example i see it at 110 and 115 and i know okay this is this is a good good premium that i'm getting and i know i mean uh, this premium would be is a safe bet and i i go ahead and take that uh, and use that premium and execute it in real time how do i do it you just create a real basket trade go ahead and execute it like this okay and you can do a paper trade like this so in this track watch you can actually go ahead and add whatever strategy you want and really watch the premiums and take a trade based on the premiums so for example what i have here is one which i had added earlier is a put long broken wind butterfly so it's it's nothing but it's if you know what a broken wind, even if you don't know it's it's a strategy what you have to look at is is the premium over here so i would have to pay somewhere close to 69k for uh, this is i think for 20 lots so i'll have to pay somewhere close to 70000 as uh, for 20 lots that means if if it goes against me the maximum loss i see in this is 70000 on the other hand when there is a minus sign that is you get the credit so it's the credit you get and loss of of course in such strategies strategies has to be managed because it generally on the payoff chart it seems to be unlimited or, or uh, really above but again these are strategies which can be managed really well now i what if i want to go a step further okay and i want to add adjustments so adjustments means if for example i have taken this trade or executed this trade at about this price 36700 now what if in another two days the price uh, let's say reaches 300 and if we go to the payoff chart we see we start getting in water after that price okay somewhere below 36 300 
we start getting underwater. So we'll of course have to shift this whole uh, strategy a little to the left side. What do I mean by that? I take the put spread and shift it a little left. I take the call spread, shift it to the left. Okay. Whatever profit or loss I'm having at that time, I square it out and shift it to the left. That is what you do. That is how you manage risk. Okay. You don't wait. You don't hope. And uh, so what I see here is at about 36, 300, I wait for some time and I think, okay, if you're not going to hold, we, we might be in water, but it's always safe to be, uh, I mean, if you think it's going to go down, if you see it on the charts, you just shift it. Now, another way you can do it is you have the charts right here. So this is another way you see. So it's exactly the same price what we have on our strategy that we have created. Uh, it's about 36, 300 that we start getting underwater. There are many ways what people like to use to track uh, their positions. Another way is just you can just add another anchor VWAP and see. So this is also another, uh, it again shows the same place. So we know that if this breaks, it can really go down fast. So it should hold till the expiry is what we hope for okay but we don't stick on hope if it goes against us we, we, we take another position so what do mean what do i mean by shifting the uh, strategy where is the next support i see it's here let's keep it a little safer and let's say thirty five thousand five hundred. so now and of course i'll have to shift the call side so the place where i broke that is thirty six thousand three hundred and this is the resistance or the support that I broke. So 36,700 would be my uh, hedge for the call side and 35,500 would be my hedge for the put side. So what do I mean by that? I'll just show you. Okay. Let's go to the payoff chart. Okay. Let's first. Okay. Now we have a clean payoff diagram. Okay. Now we were talking about when the position goes really against us so we'll have to shift it so what do we do for example at about 36,200 we need to add a hedge okay and we hope it holds it doesn't hold so if you want to simply shift this straddle what will you do you will create this sell this 10 lots add and the hedge what we discussed here was somewhere close to here so we will buy this 10 lots and add okay and similarly uh, what will we do with the call side or the better way yet again is you add the sell button here 10 add okay and let's go ahead and 36,800 would be by 10 and add okay so this will be our we've done something wrong obviously because that is not the payoff diagram that we should be getting let's see right i think it's right okay so we've selected a p instead of a c so we just remove this and add another so you see it's that simple here you don't have to delete everything even if you go wrong so thirty-six thousand eight hundred, and buy 10 lots okay now this is what of course is not right because uh, the price is still at 37 uh, 36700 but what i mean to say is that you've made this as a as a scenario wherein you will have to adjust at one point in time so you go ahead and you name it adjustment for the iron condor for the 18th September okay and you apply okay so okay we've done something wrong adjustment iron condor 
18th September okay there you go and it's saved here so this is to be used in case you have I mean as we just discussed the position goes against us so what do we do we go ahead and we save this in the template okay and again we go to the strat watch okay add strategy save templates and the adjustment so now exactly this is at this point in time this is the premium I get so when the price reaches uh, 36,200 or 300 that we just saw in the charts here so whenever the price reaches that point and we think it is it breaks this point and we think it's going to hold this at least and we plan to take another iron condor somewhere here so we know at that point in time what is the premium we're going to get by just simply tracking this track watch over here okay and you can keep tracking it you can keep playing with everything you have uh, on these charts so that was about the strat watch feature that has been recently added in go charting until next time guys uh, thank you for watching take care